Hi guys, it is Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're joining us now, welcome. Oh my god, that welcome wasn't in wasn't in my usual tone. Welcome. <laughs> Much better. One, two, three. Fuck it. My darling, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. How are you doing? I am doing great, but not gonna lie. I've not been feeling great recently in myself. You know, like, I feel like at the start of lockdown, I was like really, really, really into like doing me tan, doing me makeup every day, because I knew that it made us feel good, but then all of a sudden, all of that slipped away, and now I'm just like, got no tan on, the eyebrows are a mess, we've got a bush down below, like, <laughs> TMI but everything's just gone to pot. I've got no nails on, my toenails are chipped of like nail polish, like things ain't good at the minute. So I thought for this video I would do a get ready with me. You absolutely love my get ready with me's but this is going to be a really in-depth proper get ready with me like we're going to do everything, we're going to do tan, we're going to do nails, we're going to do painting, we're going to do a full face of makeup, you know, we're just going to get really, really glam. Honestly, like, all of these things are such, like, cliche things, but they do make you feel better, don't they? I'm drinking a gallon of water a day, right? So it's, like, two of these bottles. I'm pissing for England. For this video, I went in the shower and um, exfoliated and moisturised all my skin. And this video is very kindly sponsored by Tan Organic. I'm so, so excited to be working with them on this video. It's a new revolutionary tan for me. I'm so excited to share them with you because I think you'll really like them as well. But anyway, I used this yesterday um, when I was in the shower. It's the exfoliating mid. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it is so rough, right, that it literally took all of the tan off. Like, look. It's literally gone. Like any tan I had on yesterday is gone because this is so rough. I just used it with my shower gel and it like really rubs your skin. It does hurt a little bit but like when you're exfoliating I guess you kind of expect that. So I've had to turn the fan off in my room because obviously I don't want the background noise to affect the camera audio and oh my god I'm sweating. It's so hot outside. Anyway the first thing that I think I'm going to do is my tan because I want it to develop throughout the day um, and then it means I can get on with my other stuff and that as well. Do you know what I mean? So we are going to do tan first. So basically tan organic is made from all natural ingredients. What makes tan organic so, so unique and literally different to any other tan in the world? Currently the only eco-friendly certified tan and brand in the world. Also it's streak free as well which is amazing because you don't want to spend an hour doing your tan and have streaky legs. Like that's not what we're here for. No thank you. Bye Felicia. And it's also perfect for all skin types even sensitive skin which is definitely a bonus for me because I do suffer from dermatitis patches on my skin. So I need a one that is good for sensitive skin and tan organic is which is amazing. Now it is quite a light tan but what I love about it is you can build it up to be darker and what I usually do is put two layers of it on to have their own mix as well so I picked one up so this is the mitt I really like it I've never had a mitt with a thumb so I'm really interested to see if I like the thumb aspect of it I feel like it's going to be good can really give you more control over what you're doing and lastly I decided to pick up some of their multi-use dry oil now this is really good for um face body hair nails it's actually really good for um stretch marks and scars as well but what it is also amazing for is maintaining tan and if you apply this regularly while you have tan on when you take your tan off it makes it a lot easier because your tan is like continuously being moist so it makes it a lot lot easier um so I'm really really excited to use this as well so I've got me little gym stuff on uh, well it's not me gym stuff this is what I used to tan just these little shorts with this little top but yeah I'm just gonna get straight into doing the first layer so I've given it a good shake what I like about this tan as well is it doesn't have that like biscuity smell because Sean always complains when I have tan on and I smell like a biscuit but at least for this one I don't have that biscuit smell just go for it do you know what I mean like just just put it on just apply it
this is two layers of the tan as you can see it is a gorgeous color and then it develops even into like a more natural summer tan Tan Organic has literally everything you need for a flawless natural grow. They're very, very kindly given with 20% off when you click the link in the description and if you use code DEMI20. That's what I love about this tan as well, is everyone's out in the sun at the minute getting like a natural tan. And I hate the sun, like I cannot sunbathe to save my life. So this tan makes it look like I'm a sunbather when I'm not because it's like so natural looking and so gorgeous like you've been in the sun do you know what i mean so yeah this is the tan but obviously you will see it later on at the end of the video to see how it develops and stuff like that but this is like after two layers ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my god i already feel so much better just the fact that i've put the tan on that's all i needed to do was tan but i just couldn't be bothered but i just feel like a queen like a tan queen oh thing i'm gonna do is wax below got these off amazon these are the wax strips with easy gel only because right i'm a bit sick of shaving like i'm not i don't usually get my bikini line waxed or anything like i always just shave and i'm sick of it it's not smooth and it gives us like lumps we've got a bit of a lockdown bush because now it's been happening up there so it's not really needed to be maintained that well but I'm getting a bit sick of it myself now so it's time to get rid of the bush and yeah i'm gonna try waxing not looking forward to this to be honest um oh god but these ones look really good they're from veet and it says wax strips with easy gel up to 28 days of smoothness oh this looks professional oh these look so professional i've had wax strips before but they didn't look like this the wind veet ones are just like cheap ones i got in boots as well okay so Oh wow, it smells so good. Ooh, I like it smell. How do, do can you use both sides? Or not? Hmm, I feel like you can use both sides. I always get so scared that it's gonna pull me skin off and I'm just gonna be left with like guts. Well it wouldn't be guts, would it? It would be just like, oh right, are you ready? I'm not ready. Are you ready? I don't know. Go on. One, two, three. One, two. Fuck! Whew. That hurt way more than it should have. And I've left half of it on. I haven't pulled it all the way. Fuck, I've been a pussy, right? Pull the rest, pull the rest. Nah, I haven't. Fuck. Ow. I fucked this one up. I didn't pull it. And it's, it's just left it all with gunk on it. All oh, right, we'll try again. Do this. This is so... Oh, my God. Like, I don't think I could ever be a regular waxer down there. I think, like, eventually I'll just go back to shaving. But I just thought I would try it because I just want to be a waxer. But I don't think I am. Right, okay. One. Ah, nah. It's like pulling a plaster off. No, is this a joke of a fucking wax stuck to me vagina? Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, do my makeup and stuff, but I got sent this off Foreo. Now, this isn't like a collaboration with Foreo, but I got sent this off them. It's the new UFO mask type of device that they've got, and I've been really eager to try it, so I thought I would try it. Little... You can't... There's an app which you can get as well, and you can link it to your phone. I haven't did it yet, though. Um... But you can link the device to your phone so that you can, um, it like tell you like about your skin and stuff. But I haven't did that, but you can use it without it as well though. But I've been really eager to try it. Lighten up, oh my god. So you can press it once for daytime or twice for nighttime. And then like a sheet mask, I think you just put it all over your face. Oh wow, and it can either heat up or cool down off i could be here all day oh wow gonna try out some new brushes i got sent these are from sculpt london they sent them in my p.o box they look so nice um and i've honestly been needing a new foundation brush i'm actually really excited to try
Okay, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infirm Laville More Than Concealer. And just put some under my eye. Then I go in with my Chanel. This is the um, Sheer Glow Powder. I really like this one. It's literally the only powder that I use just because every other powder that I've tried really cakes up on my skin um, and like shows all the flakiness but this doesn't because it's such a lightweight powder. I'm then going to do my bronzer. I love this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This bronze is so, so nice. Then from the same palette, I'm just going to use the highlight as well. Um, I usually just highlight my eyelid to stop that crease coming. This is literally... It's my everyday look, but I do wear lashes with this look. Then I'm just going to put some on my nose. Like literally, I do not wear much makeup now. Um, well, I mean, I do. I wear like every product. But like, I just feel like it's so quick and easy. And it's just my, you know, when you just find a look that you like. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Blush. And I usually just grab a little bit. I really like blush recently like I kind of went off blush for a while but I'm back to loving blush now it really just used the brow pomade from Primark I'm so lucky that I stocked up on this before the shot because it's the only pomade that I get along with it's the only one that I find super easy to use okay I've realized my eyebrows look really bushy on the camera I'm not really sure why, but I think when I've got the lashes on, it'll be fine because they don't usually look that bushy. Okay, for my setting spray, I'm going to go in with a Mario Podesky one and just spritz me face. <coughs> I'll just eat some of it. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to try some new lashes that I got sent. I got sent these as part of the eyelash subscription box, which honestly I'm really excited about. This is the ones that I'm going to try today, the Express lashes, but look how stunning they are. Um, and like I said, I got sent these as part of a um, subscription box of lashes called Mother Flutter. Now, I'm really excited. You get like sent four pairs of lashes every month, which I think is such a good idea. And... Um, you can order it now, but it doesn't actually ship until, I think it's the 5th of July. Um, and I think I've got a code as well. If anybody wants to have an eyelash subscription box, I will link more information below. Oh my God, why do my eyebrows look so bad today? Um, but yeah, these lashes just look so, so pretty. Oops. I think I'm going to go in with this. This is the Huda Beauty. This is my favourite lipstick ever. It's in Trendsetter. I wear it all of the time. Like, I love it. And then once it's matte, I go in with this lip gloss from Primark. It's the high gloss. And it's it's gorgeous goldy colour. This is in the shade Go Golden Sands. Because I prefer a gloss over a matte. Mm. Look at that. It's like my perfect lip combo ever. Anyway, I really like the way that this little look's turned out. It's literally all I do all the time, but my motto is, if you like something, just keep doing it. <laughs> um, okay, next I'm going to sort the hair out because it's absolutely desperate. Oh my god, look how crazy it looks. <sighs> well, all the forums... Everyone online was like, don't wash it, don't wash it, to stop it going as greasy. But, like, I'm really struggling not to wash it. Like, I'm on day, I think it's only day two or three now. And I'm like, I really need to wash it. But people are like, no, just don't. Just keep dry shampoo in it. So, that's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, guys. So, this is my finished makeup. Honestly, I love the end result of it. I feel like it comes together really nicely. And then, for my outfit, I've gone for this chunky knit cardigan cushion from Primark that I've just put on um, and then I've got this little 
top from Fabletics. I love the style of these tops. I just think they're so nice. I've got it in blue and purple. Then I've just got some Reebok leggings on. But yeah, this is the little OTT that I went for. Really like it. I feel... I just really like this makeup look. It's just like my everyday one at the minute. But I like it a lot. Um, So yeah, today I'm just going to take Dolly for a walk and stuff. Obviously the tan is still developing. I'll show you that tonight after I've showered the like first layer in that off. Um, I'm going to paint my toes later on as well because they've got no nail polish on because I had to take it off because it was all chipped and stuff so I need to do that and then I'm going to stick some false na nails on later as well because I got some scent and I'm really excited to have a bit of nail length because as you can see I've got nothing and my nails literally like look ruined off always having acrylics so yeah okay guys so I've just got out the shower I have a few things that I want to do before I end this get ready with me video oh my god you literally cannot see it but this is the tan after I've showered. Look at how stunning it is. It's like such a natural tan. I love it. Um, anyway, what I want to do is put some false nails on. I want to paint my toes. Put my oil on from Tan Organic. Because obviously I want to keep my tan on. And is that everything? Oh, I need to just do a bit of skincare as well. Because I've just took all my makeup off. Dolly's snuggled in on my bed. Oh my god, we've been for a really long walk today. We went, well, it wasn't really long. How are you, Demi? You're being dramatic. It was two mile, but that's quite long, okay? So, I'm going to do my skincare first, actually, because um, my skin had a really bad phase, like, last week. So, I started using the Milky Range by Pixie. It's so good. Um, but, yeah, this is the Hydrate and Milky m Remover. So, I'm just going to spread a bit of this on my face to get rid of any makeup that I might still have on. It is the hydrating milky serum because obviously I have dry skin so these are great and I literally just take around two, I don't know what that is, two things of it, rub it into my hands and then rub it on, oh my god it's so soft. The next thing that I will do is the moisturiser from the same collection. Again, I just like it. You only need the tiniest bit of this though. Because I started off and I was putting loads on my hands. And then it was literally just... I didn't know where to put it. Okay, I'm just going to put this on my feet. Where is it? I'm going to put some of my tan organic oil on. Because obviously I want my tan to stay on as long as possible. And for it to be nice. So... I just like to put it on my hand first and then I just go straight in with it on my body like this so as you can see it creates such a gorgeous like just like a nice oil feeling on your skin it's not sticky though which is nice and it dries quite quick as well okay guys unfortunately I can't wear any of the nails because the LV ones I have quite like thick nail beds and they just don't fit they're like too small and then these um other ones that I've got like if I was to put it on my nail, that's the size of it. And honestly, for me, that is far too long. Like I could not, I would literally end up ripping my finger off. So I'm not going to be able to wear any of the nails. And I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to put some nails on. Tootsies are painted. I have really chubby toes. I know I'm sorry I have to say them. I hate toes. Ew, ew, ew. Anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of my pamper day. Well, it was kind of like a full day where I just pampered, I got ready, you came with us, you just kind of seen what I got up to, beauty face wise. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. You love my get ready with me as usually, so I hope this was another enjoyable one. I'm just going to probably watch a bit of Netflix and head to bed. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's try and smash 2,000 thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new. But without further ado, I'll let you go. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!